Hey, great, you found us. Thanks for tuning in. This is Not Good at Normal. Hey, thanks for joining us again. This is T with Not Good at Normal. And this particular movie review is about fried green tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. Why would you ask, am I reviewing a 30-year-old movie? Because it's coming back to the theaters this year. Isn't that fantastic? The 30th anniversary I don't think they're going to do anything different about it. It's just coming back for a one-time only three days in May. So if you live next to a major city, be sure to go and look and see. Find it if you can, because it's spectacular. See it the way it's meant to be. I believe it's Fandango, and they, a couple of times a year, will do this with lots of old classics and actually a couple of movies I think a couple of years ago, we went to see, uh, I took my daughter, which again, she's excited to go see this one with me because it's one of my favorites. We saw Kiki's Delivery Service. So getting back to this film, a lot of people think it is a gay iconic film. A lot of people say yes. It's got strong female characters. Does that make it a gay film? I don't think so. As a bisexual woman, I just don't see anything even remotely, why just because they're strong characters? I mean, a phenomenal cast. You've got Kathy Bates, you've got Jessica Tandy, um, Mary Louise Parker, and Mary Stuart Masterson. And Cicely Tyson, of course, can't forget her. She's phenomenal in anything that she is in. Um, So the movie takes place in the present, but then it jumps back and forth. Um, Jessica Tandy's character is explaining to Kathy Bates about her childhood and uh, all throughout the what happens, um, but is it really her? Is it her childhood, or is she just is she Iggy th- Threadgood because she leaves the honey just like Iggy used to when she was younger? So I mean, I guess that's something where you have to figure that part out yourself. Um, but the um, characters played by Mary Stuart Masterson and Mary the, the other Mary I just said her name and I forgot it just now. But they form a very close friendship from uh, when they were younger and through trials and tribulations and an ex-husband who mysteriously goes missing, um, they just, they get stronger and stronger with their friendship, their bond. Um, they live together and raise um, the, one of the, their children. They raise one of their kids together. Um, they run the restaurant. But again, that doesn't, and they live together, but does that mean that they have a relationship. They could just be roommates. You ever have a roommate, but you weren't romantically involved with them? I just, I don't get it. Is it a male thing that people say, you know, men just can't have strong female friendships? I I just don't see it. And I need to read the book again. I think I've only read part of the book, so I'm actually really interested in reading it again. I usually read books before I see the movies. So I'm um, 30 years late on that one, but I do want to see the read the book before going to see the movie again. So, um, and Fanny Flagg was the author of the book. So yeah, I will read the book, but I, I don't even think in the book there's any mention of them being together. I could be wrong. So if I am, please prove me wrong. Leave a message or, or a comment and let me know. Um, and what you thought about the movie or if you're going to go see it. It's a really great movie, and I love period pieces set in nineteen late nineteen teens, I believe, with the flashbacks and, of course, you know the early nineties with the, the Jessica Tandy and Kathy Bates part. It's a really great movie. Um, it's funny. It's sad. It's got everything you want, and it's just a light-hearted, awesome, feel-good movie. So, if you liked it, let me know. Leave a comment. Like the video. Subscribe if you want more content like this. I've got um, another couple of movies lined up to review and uh, more of uh, Mother Teresa's wisdom coming your way. So thanks for watching. Not good at normal.